I'm Mary Davlin, and I'm from the Hefner Museum of Natural History at Miami University. Today, let's talk about carrying capacity of an ecosystem. Let's pretend that I'm a bass in the pond behind me. To survive in the pond for one month, I will need 30 pounds of food. If we look at our food supply here, we can see that we have 4 pounds of frogs, 6 pounds of insects, 25 pounds of crayfish, 4 pounds of lizards, 8 pounds of snakes, 6 pounds of minnows, 20 pounds of bluegills, and 4 pounds of frogs. These are some of the bass's favorite foods to eat. When there is only one bass in the pond, it is easy for them to survive. If another bass enters our pond's ecosystem, it will be a little more challenging for them to find enough food to survive, but if they look hard enough, they'll still be able to find some. Now, if we add a third bass to our pond, there will not be enough food for them to survive. This is because each bass in our pond needs 30 pounds of food to survive. If there are three bass in our pond, our ecosystem would need 90 pounds of food to support these three bass. Our ecosystem only has 73 pounds of food. Since our pond can no longer support our bass population, the population will begin to decrease. Our number of resources always stays the same, so as the number of bass increase, our resources are used up more quickly. Now, let's do another scenario. Suppose that our pond gets polluted because of fertilizer, runoff, or litter. The pollution in our water is harmful to many organisms in our pond. Let's say that our populations of bluegills and crayfish decrease from 25 pounds to 5 and 20 pounds to 5. Now our pond can only support one bass, where before it could support two. Carrying capacity is the maximum number of species that an ecosystem can sustain. In nature, every population has a carrying capacity. This can be limited by environmental factors like food, shelter, water, disease, available land, ability to reproduce, predators, weather, and many more. If the needs of an organism are not met or when the species is over their carrying capacity, the population will decrease. When an ecosystem is below their carrying capacity, there is little resource competition, so the population will continue to increase. When an ecosystem is above its carrying capacity, there is an intense resource competition, resource availability is low, and the population will start to decrease. An ecosystem is the most stable when it is at its carrying capacity. This explains why carrying capacity is a factor that regulates an organism's population size. Thanks for spending time with me learning about carrying capacity. This video supplements some of the Hefner Museum Discovery Trunks education kits you may check out for use. See the website miamioh.edu slash Hefner Museum for more information.